now that we have our Facebook business page set up and this video is brought to you by Abby Pies Academy everything is ready and we know what kind of ads we approximately want we're ready to start setting up our actual ads so in the Facebook business manager you click on the top left you got these all these options and you click mouse over all the tools and what we want is the ad manager that's where we're going to work from in the ad manager we're going to want to create a new campaign from scratch so we click on create and we're going to create a guided campaign there's an option for a quick creation but we're going to go the slow way so we can explore everything and you see this is the hierarchy on the left you got in the campaign you have some ad sets which have predetermined things like your audience so you don't have to reset them all the time and then you have different ads running in it so it's kind of a hierarchy it's a good way to look at it the way it's displayed here on the left so the first is we're going to set up the campaign and we know what we want out of this campaign if you want app installs like if you have an app you want that if you want lead generation you can do that store traffic you can do that whatever you need so let's say we do conversions so we picked our goal and let's let's give it like conversions test it's always good to give names that are as descriptive as possible because when you start creating a lot of campaigns a lot of ads that they're going to start to blur with one another so it's really good to just distinguish them as much as possible it might seem like a waste of time but it really is prudent and you can select to create a split test which is basically testing your campaigns and ads against one another for now we'll skip that and we'll click continue so as you see on the left side we've moved on to creating our ad set we'll give it a new ad set name in this case i already have a pixel set up and that's what i'm going to choose later i'm going to show you how to set up your own pixel for now i just want to make sure you understand all the basics of creating your ad at a high level and then we'll get into the details dynamic creative we'll do that later it's basically creating a more interesting ad creating a more interesting offer we'll do that later then you'll have an audience you can create a new audience or you can use the saved audience if you have that if you don't have it you can actually import an audience and so maybe you have an email list that has a lot of clients who converted from just email subscribers into clients then you know those people are very highly targeted and they're a good match so you can actually import your email list for example and Facebook will find you more people like that so you can do this we'll explore that shortly uh, in this case we're just going to create a new audience so you see we're creating a new audience you can choose a location depending on if you're a local business you might go very narrow for now we'll go United States age range again it depends on what your consumers are like languages we're going to know English and let's say we are trying to promote some kind of like a business product so this is one of the first places where Facebook ads get interesting the detailed targeting so you can browse what Facebook has to offer in terms of demographics meaning things that can be measured about people these are things about the consumer so it's their income their education maybe their life events in this case we'd be looking for something like started just started a business or work industries might be useful if if your business product that you're selling is for for a particular industry for example you're teaching people how to start a cleaning business oh and here's you can target people who already are working in cleaning and maintenance services and you want them to instead of have a job learn how to start their own business doing this this would be good targeting and you can keep browsing this in their interest also what they like maybe they are interested in starting a new business entrepreneurship is a match here what you want to make sure you do is don't just select people who might like what you are selling you should try to aim to find people who will really 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 like if these are people who just kind of like your potential products then you might waste a lot of money on ads if, if the traffic isn't strongly targeted because if you got this traffic for free sure you'll take it but if you have to pay for every click you really got to make sure that they are highly targeted also this is interesting connections so people who are cold leads will convert at a lower rate than people who are warm leads what that means here is 
people who like your p page already, you want to target them with campaigns because they are warm leads or friends of people who like your page, maybe, but it's a little bit of a stretch. And if you have anything like people who used your app or people who responded your, to your prior activity, like your events, those are warm leads. So you want to definitely include them if, that, if, if they still make sense for the campaign. Then there's placements. For now, let's leave it as automatic. And then of course, budget and schedule. So you want to limit the upper end of your ad, let's say $5 to start just, just while you're experimenting. And what I want to show you is that see, while I'm scrolling, you see on the left here, notice what happens on the left. I'm actually going through the ad set. So let's say we've set up the ad set and we click continue and we're going to go and focus on the actual ad itself. And don't worry, we'll touch on all of this shortly in more detail. The first, let's give it a name. First test ad. We're going to choose the page we're targeting from. We're creating the ad. We can use an existing post. So like any of the previous posts that we had promoted anything, we can actually promote that. That would be easy. Or you can create a totally new ad. For example, like an image or a video is a very popular kind of ad to start with. And if you're creating a new ad, you want to basically show what you are promoting. For example, the website URL and you want to create the ad copy and everything. Description, make, just make the ad more attractive. And then for tracking, we'll explore that shortly when we go over how to create a pixel from scratch. And essentially for now, what we can do is we can just use the existing post and we can select the post and we can say something like this, continue, and we can confirm. And it says our ad is in review. Let's turn it off for now because we don't want to run it yet. So I turned it off for now because I don't want to spend the money yet and the ad details are not all set up. The targeting is not all set up. So what we're going to do in the next videos is we're actually going to refine this ad and make it really good. But now you understand how to create an ad from A to Z at a high level. And in the next few videos, we're going to go into the low level and we're going to step by step, make it a really highly targeted ad that is effective.